we have a Toyota Hilux D4D 3 litre engine. As you can see, all the ports are completely caked up with soot. But where does that soot come from, James? Okay, there's two components to that. One part comes from the EGR, which is here. You can't block it off because it will throw a check engine light on the car if you block this off, so that has to stay there. So what we do, the other part of that, is the oil residue that comes through via the bypass air from the crankcase. So normally the hose actually connects straight from the breather port down to the inlet after the clean of the air filter just in front of your turbocharger. So by filtering that air, we get that oily residue out of it. So it's clean air, comes through here, combined with the EGR gas, you don't get this forming. Okay, but as you can see, you can That's even terrible, you, man. Can, you, alarm. you can even see sections where it's fallen off in sheets and it's gone down into the combustion chamber. Yeah, I see that. Okay, so if you clean this out, you fit a ProVent, this will never happen again. Okay. ProVent, ProVent's use a filter element inside that comes from Man Filters compressor technology. Uh, so this actually gets the oil out of the air, forms it back into droplets, solidifies it, sends it down in a liquid form in your chamber. Um, and it's an investment, right? Because you make, you take it from one vehicle to the definitely, next, right? Definitely, definitely. Yeah. So, so once you buy a kit for a car, down the track, you can turn around and say, okay, I've changed from this vehicle to that vehicle, unbolt it, get the new bracket for the new vehicle, bolt it on, away you go again. That all looks stainless steel too, isn't it? It is. It's all 304 stainless steel, all every nut, bolt, bracket, it's all thick, laser etched, all part numbers, everything like that. Comes Fantastic. with hose, clamps. Absolutely everything, no corrosion at all. Plug and play, if I can Plug use that too. Yeah. Plug and play, 20 minutes. And I see you've got the opposite side of the intake manifold. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty gnarly, doesn't it? Pretty caked up. Yeah, that's it's terrible. quite disgusting. If you look further down, and to actually the, where the that's on the are, clean side, right? This, this is supposed this, to be spotless. This is, this is, spotless. This is supposed to be spotless. This yeah. is clean side after the air filter. This yeah. is just crud. Not good. It's diesel soot and crud. So I understand you. You also supply the the man and Hummel or, or fittings for the preline. Yep. The diesel. So I, I do do the diesel filtration systems for the pre-filters. So this is example of one of the kits with a couple of extra fittings. Um, so the fittings vary from car to car depending on the application with brackets and things like that. But we put this before the factory fuel filter. Typically, by doing this, we'll extend the life of the factory fuel filter by about double. Um, but by doing this, we'll change this one a little bit more frequently. This is quite cheap to replace in comparison to the factory fuel filter. I about $35 to replace this element. But I understand it's got the high tech uh, dual layer media it does, in it, doesn't it? It does. It's got high tech dual layer media. It's got water detection in there. It's got a light in the cabin to indicate to you when you have water in the system. This is actually a quite a high tech system, all made in Germany. Right and, you, and you get a wiring harness with it? This is full wiring harness, plug and play, no cutting, no splicing, done and dusted, easy install. Alright, James, thanks very much for showing us your product, buddy. No problem, thank you. Ciao.